Let me ask you a question. What do you really believe about suffering? Like, really? Years ago, I probably would have given you an answer that might have sounded like this. Suffering happens, try to avoid it. If you're really good, it might not touch you. And when it does happen, just get through it. Sounds really deep, right? Well, I think many people have this view of suffering. It's more of an avoidance mentality because either you feel you don't deserve to suffer or you don't think there's any value in suffering. So is this what the Bible teaches us? No. <laughs> Here's what Peter tells us about suffering in 1 Peter 4, verse 12. Listen to this. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. <laughs> well, first, we should never be surprised by suffering. In fact, we should expect it. Suffering for a Christian isn't something to avoid or be ashamed of. I honestly didn't realize that my view of suffering was so far off until I faced a long season of suffering. And then I began to mature in my understanding. I not only began to see suffering as something to be expected, but also that it has value. Did you catch what Peter said? Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you. There it is. Suffering has a pur purpose. It's not ran like a random drive-by shooting. One of the purposes of suffering is to test us. Now, that's not referring to some kind of written exam with a pass or fail grade, but rather the kind of test that can actually bring out your best. Peter talked about trials or tests earlier in chapter 1, verse 7, and there he gives us a picture of being refined by fire. Listen to verse seven. These, these trials or tests have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire. So the picture is this, tests prove that your faith is genuine and real. So suffering is an opportunity to show how real your faith is. It can actually bring out the best in you. When gold is tested by fire, any impurities that would weaken it would be burned off and only the best would remain. And when we suffer, there's no faking it, right? Trials prove who you really are and they're an opportunity for your faith to shine and there's a wonderful result to it all. It tells us at the end of verse seven that suffering may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus is revealed. So, what's your view of suffering? I encourage you to see your suffering and trials as an opportunity to bring out the best in you and the best in God, and that's courageous living.